TJ Garlo, Chicho, do you think the current uh, property markets are uh, property markets are intentional? House prices are going up, and so are mortgage rates. Big institutions buying at the property property and forcing people to only rent and never own. Uh, yeah, it's it's an intentional game that, that they're playing. But I don't think these house prices are going to maintain. I think the bubble is about to f and burst, and it's going to burst hard. And one thing that uh, we have to realize regarding Western economy, the, the economy in Canada, the United States, anyway, the backbone of the economy is housing, real estate, right? When for every house you need to build, for every apartment you need to build, you need to consume a lot of resources, employ a lot of people pay a lot of taxes government feeds off of it and stuff like this right so that's the driving engine of the economy in canada united states that's gonna that's about to come to a grinding halt right that's about to come to a grinding halt and once that once that comes into a grinding halt you're gonna see commodity prices drop you're gonna see oil prices drop you're gonna see housing prices drop hard one of the reasons we're going to see housing prices drop hard is because interest rates are on the uptick i don't think they're going to slow down the rise in interest rates they need to do this right the only thing that's going to stop it is global warfare which is something that they are pushing but let's assume right now if interest rates continue to be kicked up in the united states 50 basis points every fed meeting for every 50 basis point that's going to be raised i think mortgage rates are going to go up two percent three percent or something like this okay something insane it's a multiple right plasma manator thank you very much for the follow interest rates are going to go up right right now there's let's say there's a hundred people hundred percent of the population not hundred percent of the population but let's say hundred percent of those looking to buy houses right now let's say they're able to buy houses when fifty percent of the uh, 50 basis points and in interest rates go up and the mortgage rates go up two percent all of a sudden that's going to eliminate 20 percent of the market those who are interested in buying housing right not only that there's just going to be a certain number of people that have bought houses that didn't account for interest rates their mortgage rates going up if they have to renew every five years by two percent by four percent right and they won't be able to afford to pay the mortgage on an inflated asset right uh huge debt that they've taken on so they're going to have to liquidate so i think at the same time this is what, what we're about to see there's going to be less buyers coming into the market because they can't afford it interest rates higher mortgages higher and those who have already bought into the housing market won't be able to afford to make those payments so they're going to increase the supply so demand decrease supply increase who's going to fill the void wall street possibly filling the void because they've been what is it 80 percent now of all the money 40 to 80 percent of all the cash that was created in the united states over the last hundred years we've created in the last two years so are all these funds sitting on major cash or do they have serious put position short positions for the market to collapse cash in on the put position short position buy housing put it in real estate there are so many factors in play right now right personally i can tell you this if interest rates are on the rise the way we think they are on the rise or could be on the rise 50 basis points every fed meeting for the next three four five meetings that's a lot right if interest rates are on the rise on that level you don't want to be in debt okay you don't want to be in equities okay you don't want to be in any uh, risky assets to a certain degree that are based on growth 